If you're into fix and flip real estate investing, then you know every penny you save on the cost of renovations is a penny in profit you get to keep. But most flippers don't know that there are several ways to save money on materials at Home Depot. As a matter of fact, there are 10 different ways. So on today's video, get ready to learn a rehabber's guide to save money at Home Depot, coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. As a full-time flipper for 16 years now and having done hundreds of fix and flip projects, what I've learned is without compromising quality, the key to keeping the rehab budget and even coming in under budget is to look for ways to save money on every single line item on the rehab for both labor and material. And most rehabbers have no idea that there are several different ways to save money at Home Depot on materials that they were going to buy anyway. So on today's video, I wanna share with you 10 ways to save money at Home Depot. The first way to save money is to understand Home Depot's price tag code. Now most people know that the yellow tag means that the item is on clearance. So when looking for specific items, always be on the lookout for the yellow tags. But what most people don't know is that there is a discount code for the price on most yellow tag items. If the price ends in three cents, then the item is at its lowest price and will be removed from the shelves in the next few weeks. On the other hand, if the price ends in six cents, then there is still room for the item to be discounted even more in the next five or six weeks. It's how Home Depot tries to move items out for new inventory. Now, the second way to save money at Home Depot is to negotiate a discount on damaged items. Store employees have permission to discount prices on damaged merchandise about 10% without getting additional authority. For example, if you need an eight foot long two by four and you can find a 10 foot long two by four where the last foot is damaged, ask for a discount since you only need eight foot anyways. The best Home Depot associates to discuss discounts are the people who work at the pro desk since they specialize in helping contractors. Always use the phrase, do you have the power or the authority to give me a discount? People like to feel powerful, and this will evoke a positive response in store workers. If a Home Depot worker is unwilling to give a discount, ask, who can I talk to who has the power or authority to give me a discount? Remember, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. By the way, speaking of lumber, check out the very back of the lumber section or ask an associate where they keep the leftover pieces. Marked in purple, you can buy leftover lumber scraps for up to 70% off. The third way to save money at Home Depot is to sign up for the store's email and text alerts. Once signed up, you'll receive around 10 texts per month with details on promos and offers. Not only will this keep you constantly aware of sales, but as of this recording, just by signing up for store alerts, you can earn a $5 coupon on your next purchase of $50 or more. And if you'd like the link to sign up and get that coupon, leave a comment and say, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. Please share the link to sign up and get the coupon and I'll give you that link. The fourth way to save money at Home Depot is special just for active duty military and reserves, as well as retired and disabled servicemen and women. And get this, their immediate families. Now I think this is super cool. Home Depot offers a 10% discount every day to show appreciation for their service. And I wanna take a minute and say thank you for your service as well. I enjoy the freedoms of prosperity every day because of your sacrifices. So again, thank you for your service. Now Home Depot also offers a 10% discount to all other vets on Memorial Day, Independence Day, and Veterans Day. And the cool thing is, is you can shop online and choose store pickup and then claim your discount by entering your military ID. The fifth way to save money on items at Home Depot is to take advantage of their special buys of the day via its online saving center. Now sometimes there are huge savings as much as 40% off or more. Just go to homedepot.com forward slash special buy and select your store location. You can even search by department, which is helpful to see if there are any sales for specific items that you're looking for. The sixth way to save money is with price matching and Home Depot has one of the best price matching policies of any retailer. Not only will they make good on a competitor's price on an exact item, but Home Depot will beat the price by 10%. There is one exception to this rule, and that is with competitors online only offers. Home Depot will match these, but they will not do the additional 10% discount. 
Okay, the seventh way to save money at Home Depot is to understand Home Depot's holiday sale plan. Home Depot does seasonal sales around specific holidays. For example, the Black Friday sale is the best time to buy flooring. The 4th of July sale is the best time to buy appliances. And since I almost always put stainless steel appliances in my rehabs, I'll buy several sets of fridges, stoves, dishwashers, and microwaves, sometimes at 50% off during the 4th of July sale. Now you can save up to 40% on kitchen and bath items in mid-January to mid-March, and the best time to buy paint is on holiday weekends during Memorial Day and Labor Day. You can usually get $5 off on one gallon and $25 off on a five gallon bucket. Now these holiday sales are a good time to stock up on items that you know you'll be using on future projects. And speaking of paint, if a paint technician doesn't tint a paint exactly right, it's offered for sale at a steep discount in the oops section. You can get a $30 gallon for just nine bucks. The eighth way to save money at Home Depot is to take advantage of their after purchase protection policy. Nothing is worse than buying something only to see it on sale the next day. So Home Depot offers a price protection on purchased items. So if an item you just bought goes on sale after the fact, you can get a refund for the difference when you present your original receipt. Now the time frame to get the discount offers store by store, but most stores will honor up to 30 days after the purchase. And don't forget, if an employee says no, use the phrase, can I talk to someone with the authority to honor the price protection discount? And I found that escalating anything to a manager tends to get better results. Now I know what you're thinking, who has time to monitor after purchase discounts? I sure don't, but there is a really cool way to stay on top of it. Sign up for a service called Paribus that will monitor your purchases and alert you when something you bought goes on sale within 30 days after the purchase. Then you can request a price adjustment and get the difference back. Just go to paribus.co to sign up. The ninth way to save money at Home Depot is with rebates. Now be sure to check the store's online rebate center at homedepot.com forward slash rebate dash center. You can search for rebate offers in your zip code or based on the product or model number. However, keep in mind that if you purchase the product initially using a coupon or military discount or clearance sale, it may invalidate the rebate. Okay, and the 10th way to save money at Home Depot is using Home Depot's volume pricing program. Now it used to be called the bid room. Designed for contractors, the way it works is if your total order is over $1,500, Home Depot can get a bulk discount from its suppliers and pass that savings on to you. Just bring your project list to the pro desk and they'll put together a quote for you usually within minutes. And we've gotten as high as 30% off doing this. This strategy works great for big ticket items such as kitchen cabinets, doors, trim windows, and roofing materials. And I built entire houses using 100% Home Depot for materials because the volume program got me better discounts than anyone else. And keep in mind, to qualify for volume discount pricing, an order doesn't have to be $1,500 worth of a single item. The entire order just has to be $1,500 or more. And I've got an 11th bonus way to save money at Home Depot, and that's to sign up for the Home Depot credit card. Now, Home Depot usually offers a $25 discount up to $990 in spend, and a $100 discount if the total purchase is over $1,000. Keep in mind, this is for the first purchase using the card. But even better is the deferred interest. This can be for six months on every purchase of $299 or more. Now, sometimes they'll offer the deferred interest for longer, maybe 12 to 18 months. This can be huge for flippers because you can buy everything you need for your rehab on the Home Depot card and then carry the balance and wait to pay it off once you flip the house interest-free. If you think that's brilliant, leave a comment and say, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. And if you have an established business entity, Home Depot offers a commercial credit card and you automatically qualify for 5% off on every purchase. Now, most people don't know that Home Depot has a project loan program that is ideal for large remodeling projects. You will need to qualify, so ask a Home Depot associate for details. And between you and me, there is a sneaky trick that exploits Home Depot's commercial credit card, but Home Depot knows about it, so I don't feel so bad telling you. Using your commercial credit card, you could purchase items and get the 5% discount and then return those items for store credit for the full price. Okay, if there's any other ways to save money at Home Depot, leave a comment and let me know.
As a fix and flipper, saving money on the materials at Home Depot is a big deal for two reasons. The first reason is pretty obvious. If you can save money on materials that you are going to buy anyways, then those savings allow you to come in under budget and then your profit will be more on your fix and flips. For example, if you budgeted $28,000 on your rehab, but then saved 4,000 on materials, that's $4,000 in additional profit you just made on the deal when you flip it. Now, the second reason that it's a big deal to save money on materials at Home Depot is because if you can keep your renovation costs lower on your fix and flip projects, then you can pay more than your competition when buying deals. For example, let's say that two flippers are going after the same deal and assuming both flippers follow the same buy formula and both flippers do the exact same renovations, if flipper A can do the repairs for let's say 22,500, and then flipper B can save 15% on the total cost of repairs and do the same rehab for $19,125, then flipper B is saving $3,375, which means he can pay $3,375 more to buy the house than his competitor, flipper A. And most deals are won and lost over a few thousand dollars. Now, I've got a few free resources to really help you on your next fix and flip project. First, is my rehab estimator tool. With built-in pricing for each item of the rehab, you simply just enter the quantities and it will add up your total rehab cost so you know exactly how much it will cost to rehab the house. And I'll give this to you for free. I'll put the download link in the description below for you. And make sure to get my contractor agreement before you ever hire a contractor to work on your project. It has 15 must-have clauses for avoiding costly mistakes, delays, and miscommunication. And I'll give that to you for free as well download link in the description below. Hey, I sure hope you learned something new on this video. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button and leave a comment and let me know your biggest takeaway and get out there and save some money. Listen, when it comes to rehabbing houses, the winner isn't the one who creates the nicest house. Anyone can over renovate. The winner is the one who makes the most money on the deal. And to do that, you need to know how to create a rehab budget and stick to it and what items to fix and flip to get the best bang for your buck. So be sure to watch this next video where I show you how to renovate a house on a budget. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. With over 500 videos, this is the number one channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. And I'll see you on the next video.